Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. We've got something a little strange today, and uh, it's a side to the breeding projects that you really don't see. And this is something that's um, very rarely documented either. Um, and that's not to say that it doesn't happen, I just don't think very many people show it. So I thought we'd, um, we'd show it, and we'll see what you think. Now I warn you now, this is quite graphic, and um, one of our spiders does die. Maybe not the one you first think it is, but watch the video. It is a little gruesome. You do see a little bit at the end um, where one of them actually does get grabbed. Now, um, but it's very, it's, it's very, very interesting footage, and I feel that it's really worth documenting and worth sharing with you guys. So, like I say, it is graphic. Now's your time, if you don't want to look at it, skip right the way to the end, and we'll have a little explanation of what's going on. All right, see what you think. Well, we're about to try and pair our Cuprianus saili, the tiger wandering spider. Now these are a true spider, and these are very um, visually activated. They have very, very good eyesight. This is our female. As you can see, she is in lovely, plump breeding condition. And she is kept in a... 30 by 30 by 45 XO. So they've got plenty of room to breed these guys. And there goes our male. As you can see, these are sexually dimorphic, which means that he's totally different to her. Once they mature, he comes out and he's got this lovely colour and he's very, very well camouflaged. But he doesn't carry the, the oranges and um, the other colours that the female does. He's more of a greeny colour. Beautiful little spider. Now you can see there, this, this male has got a nice plump abdomen. He's been feeding throughout the whole time that he's been mature. And this is quite often the case with the true spiders. They feed throughout. Very, very good. Easy, easy spiders. Now, as you'll note so far, we've seen no signs of any courtship whatsoever. We would have expected to have seen maybe a little bit of uh, leg waving, maybe a little bit of scratching from the male with the petty palps. Because these guys, when they, when they do get it on, they do actually both wave at one another. There you go, you can see the orange we were talking about underneath on the legs on the female there. Very, very pretty spiders. And as you can see, these guys are very calm as well. These have a reputation for being very fast, flighty, got a strong bite. But I found them to be reasonably gentle. See the male creeping up in the background there. Now these guys would be fully aware of one another at this point. They know each other's there. You can see it's very slow, cautious movements. We're watching this in pretty much real time. This this video hasn't really been edited. Um, it's probably had around about three minutes taken out of it. But that is it. So this was actually quite a quick, a quick pairing. Or attempt, I should say. Now our male has settled on the top. We're now waiting to see what our female does. Here she goes. Like I say, these guys would be fully aware of one another at this point. And 
as we go forward now, everything is nice and calm. There's no indication that anything can go wrong. Here she goes. Now, look, she, he's there. You see him sitting on top of the water bowl. That's it. Look, boom. Now, this is the point now where I thought they were actually just getting it on. This Their courtship at this point is quite often goes like this. And, and I have seen them fall to the floor before now. And then they copulate. So the male does, in effect, hold the female. And it was only as as we now zoom in, I was like, ah, no, this is all wrong. This is She's the wrong way around for a start. He's actually got a grip of her thorax, which is the point between the abdomen and the carapace. And you can see there there's fluid coming out now. He's actually punctured her abdomen. And because he's directly on top of her with a grip around the thorax, she can't turn to defend herself or do anything about it. And you might well ask, well, why didn't we separate them at this point? And the reason being is because it is pointless. It is futile. This female would not survive the, um, the damage that has been done to her by this male. So going forward, it's worth letting him consume her and, uh, and then he, he will stay a viable male and ready for the next pairing. But what amazing behaviour that male did not hesitate in attacking that female. Very, very strange, but it shows the brutality of the insect world. And there is so much we just do not understand. Well, I did warn you, I did tell you it was a little graphic. That was a breeding attempt for our Cuprianus sali, the tiger wandering spider. Now, um, as you guys may well be aware, the tiger wandering spider is a very visual spider. Um, and it's what we call a true spider as well. It's not a tarantula, it's a true spider. Now, uh, they do behave slightly different to our tarantulas. And um, quite often it's the male that gets eaten. But as you would have seen in that video, the male done the attacking. And for no apparent reason. These guys went in, they were nice and calm, absolutely perfect. He was also feeding as well. He's, he's never stopped feeding. He's been in with um, two other females. And um, we've not seen any aggression. Um, but one interesting point is, is when we have watched them pair, twice now I've seen him pair where... He has grabbed the female and they've hit the floor, but then they carry on to copulate. There's been no aggression. And I always assumed that this was just part of their um, their ritual, part of their courtship, you know, a little bit rough and ready sort of thing. But this time, he literally grabbed her and he bit her right behind the neck, between the, 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 like the head and the thorax, and he bit her there, and she had no escape whatsoever, and she couldn't defend herself in that situation either. So when they hit the floor, I actually thought at first that maybe this was just their little tussle before they got it together. Then it became apparent that he actually had like a killer grip on her, if you like. And um, yeah, there was um, there was no foreplay whatsoever. He went straight in for the kill. Very, very strange. Now, um, both these spiders, as I said, were uh, fed beforehand. Um, and they've both got really good appetites, and they're in, both in superb condition. So I have no idea why we had this turn of events. Um, I've only ever experienced this once before in all of the breedings that we've done, and we've done many, many breedings. Um, and the last time I experienced this was with an OBT. And a uh, similar thing, they actually got in, they were doing their thing, they were sort of working away at each other, and then bang, he grabbed her. And the interesting thing with that particular occasion was he was half the size of her, but he nailed her instantly, really, really quick. So, um, yeah, maybe we just get a rogue male every now and again. Who knows? It's one of those, one of those questions that will never, ever be answered. Um, but it does throw up a lot of questions, you know. It makes us try and think and work out what it is we're doing and, and how these things happen. So, uh, yeah, very, very interesting footage. 
I hope you manage to stay with it and watch it because as I've said before this is all part and parcel of the nature of, of what goes on in the world of these spiders and yeah it's nice to sit on the comfortable side of the fence and uh, and see all the, the nice beautiful colours and behaviour and everything that we show on these spiders but in the insect world it is a brutal brutal world and um, I think it's really really important that we show the other side to this world within these spiders. I think it's absolutely fascinating. Right, well, I would like to say I hope you enjoyed that, but um, maybe enjoy is the wrong word, <laughs> but I hope you found it interesting anyway. You know, it is very, very interesting stuff. Right then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. And I'll see you soon, guys.